in the game, actually four. They had three base hits and a walk, and that was it as McLeod and the rest of the Bulldog pitching games where Mississippi State has had shut scoreless innings and Sarantola hits the leadoff man. Yeah, leadoff man. Chop up the middle. Well, that's what you're looking for. Step on the back, four side throws, a six unassisted to three double play. And now all of a sudden, Sarantola can just exhale a little bit. It's a similar performance. Inside, and it hits Hopkins. And so Sarantola has hit two of the first three today. And you can see the your advantage a little bit if you can gain some control. To the second baseman, DeBruel, and that'll do it. So one, two, foul tip held by the catcher. And the first strikeout for Justin Mice and two quick outs here at the bottom of the first. And a swing and a miss, and that'll end the inning. Well, how about Justin Mice? Well, he was 143 hitter. Swings and misses for strikeout number one. Ran that one up there at 96 on the outside part of the plate. Ball had misses. Needs to focus in here. Ground ball right side. Josh Hatcher's got it. He'll race to the bag, and that'll do it. Eastern Michigan goes in order here. Down the right field line. Chops that one right side. First baseman throws it behind the covering pitcher, and that's just a tough play. It's a tough play for a first baseman ball. When you go with that overhand throw, the first three weeks. It's amazing how everything kind of levels out in this game. Up the middle, second baseman's got it. Flip to second for one, on to first for the double play. Well, hit it on the ground. Here's a 3-2. Breaking ball, strike three call at the knees on the outside corner. So, that was Sarantola. The issue isn't, as you see the strike out there, but the issue isn't with the fastball. Yep, got it. Strikes out the side in the third. Eric, here's a 3-2, laced the other way, one half stop by Easter, and he gets up, throws it across the time. Yeah, nice play by Shane Easter. Kendall Graben and some of those guys, there's a fly ball lifted in the left field. Cummins now ranging back, turns his shoulders and looks up, and that ball is gone. A home run the opposite way for Hopkins. Well, that last ball sounded good coming off the bat, but didn't carry. I think that one fooled Cumbus a little bit because his angle was not back to the wall until late. Like he was kind of moving to his left before getting back. I really couldn't tell right there at the end. Let's take another look. The pitch just ran out over the outside corner and just got out of the yard before Cumbus got there. And a one-out home run here in the fourth inning by Taylor Hopkins, and Eastern Michigan has a one-nothing lead. And James draws a walk. Okay, let me ask you this question, Charlie. So we're runner going, and a throw down, not in time, and a stolen base by Cameron James. It's first time up on a ground ball to the first baseman. Chops that one. Nice backhand stab. The underhand toss this time. And Hancock thrown out at first. That saved a run as Balt went backside on the season, but winning last night. One, two. Breaking ball drops over the outside corner. Back door it nicely. Pegs goes down looking. Hit it off the handle and right out to the shortstop lane four side. He got a good jump on it. Went back on it. Made the play. Flip to the covering shortstop and the start of the 4-6-3 double play, and that pitch hits him. Came down and in, and it gets Hatcher. Hatcher go. He's gone. Missed down and in. Well, State loves to run on 3-1. Ground ball left side to the shortstop. They get one at second. The throw to first is in time for the double play. Oh, my goodness. Forsyth hits it on the ground, and a 6-4-3 double play ends the inning. Breaking ball, swung on a miss, blocked up by Hancock. He'll toss it down to first, and Preston Johnson gets the swing and a miss and the strikeout. 
And he throws ball four there. He has the ability. For all the leading hitter on the ball club. Runner going, and the pitch is down and blocked up. And Katula swung at that pitch. A big pitch. Fly ball lifted into left field. It should be an easy play for Combust. He's right there, and that'll do it. So line drive with the other way. That'll break up the no-hitter. Allen will round first, the one-out single to left field. Swing and a miss, and that will end the inning. Just came inside with a fastball at 92. Got ground ball left side, four side. Trying to get it in the hole, throw it across, not in time. It hit right off the end of the glove. He was trying to plant that right foot. And check it first, the 0-2. Swing and a miss, and that will end the inning. So here, actually, by the first baseman, first time up. Out to the second baseman, backing up Kaufman, throw it to first, and bobbled by the first baseman, Christian Ball, and the leadoff man aboard in the seventh inning on the throwing error by the second baseman. Here's the 0-2. And strike three called on the inside corner, came in with a fastball, and that ends the inning. Hold on. Here's a 1-1. Ground ball left side, shortstop Forsyth got it, toss it over, nice play by the freshman. And Carlisle Kessler retires the side in order in the top of the eighth. And on the bottom of the eighth. Fly ball in the right field. Ranging back. And is going to have room reaching up and making the catch the right fielder Oberg as Pegs, the center fielder, came over as well. So Rowdy Jordan gets under one out the right. Got it. Well, there's the changeup. Hopkins way out front. And now two outs. Ground ball left side. Here comes Forsyth. Scoops and throws and time for the out. We go to the bottom of the ninth. His last time up. First pitch swinging, and the Dawes get the lead out. Lead off man aboard here in the ninth. Well, that's what you need from your leader, stepping into the box, taking a pitch right up the middle. and. That's what he tried to do there, and he hits it. Well, it gets away on an 0-2 pitch. And that's what we talked about with Kessler a little bit ago. If you dare to come in on 0-2, and he did, and he didn't get away with it. So a sink. Pulls it into the right field corner. That'll tie the game. James will round second and head over to third. And the Bulldogs tie it in the bottom of the ninth and have the winning run at third with no outs. Well, and that is exactly the type of it, Matt, you expect from Luke Hancock. He has shown the ability to have zone discipline all year long, to be selective at the plate, and when he gets a pitch to hit, to hit it hard. He hit that one hard down the right field line. The Bulldogs have tied it up, and the winning run 90 feet away. Luke Hancock with his first hit today, his 15th RBI, and now Logan Tanner will come to the plate. And the day for Justin Mice is done. What a performance by Justin Mice on the road here in Starkville today. As he goes eight plus innings, Bulldog crowd going to give him a standing ovation. At the corners, the pitch. Fly ball left field. Deep to the outfield. And the Dogs walk it off again. This time it's Logan Tanner. A frustrating day at the plate ends with some happiness for Mississippi State. They have shown all season long they can fall behind early, but they have comeback ability, and they display it again here today. A three-run bomb by Logan Tanner, his first home run of the year, and boy, did it come at a good time, and the Dogs walk it off and win it 4-1. to one over Eastern Michigan. Well, we talked about it early today. Logan Tanner, a guy who hits it really hard, and you knew sooner or later 
One of these balls is going to get out of the yard because his exit velocity is so good. Exactly the guy you want up in that situation. Let's take a look at it, Charlie. Got a pitch in the heart of the plate. And a breaking ball at home. And Tanner out of the yard. Well, this is becoming the norm here at Duty Noble. Did it twice against Tulane. And that technically the game winner for Cameron James when he crossed the plate. And two more would score, and the Dogs win it four to one today over Eastern Michigan. Justin Myers had the Bulldogs handcuffed all day long. But the Dogs put four on the